Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and before I start the video, I'd like to say if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. My next video is going to be a contest giveaway video, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if this video gets over 1,000 likes, I will be sure to give away a prize of substantial value and coolness, so uh, please stay tuned for that and subscribe so you won't miss it. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to make firecrackers with fireworks. So all you will need in this video is some tin foil or some type of container to contain the explosives, some paper for assembly, a knife for disassembly, and of course your firework. This one here is the type of firework that you put inside of a tube and then it launches out before exploding but most parts of the world other than like the US and a few others have these pre-made into a tube with a base plate kind of like this and those will work just as well but this is kind of more convenient because it is already out of the tube so it is ready to be dissected and we're going to be dissecting this one even though it was rather expensive mainly because in the area I live in unless it's some special occasion it is actually too big for where I live I live in a little residential area so let's take it apart and make some fun little firecrackers. Just for a size comparison, here is the firework we're taking apart. And here is your standard 2 inch firecracker. As you can see there's quite a big difference. This one barely weighs anything. This one's probably a solid half pound. Let's take it apart. So be very careful when taking one of these apart. Make sure you're away from all heat sources. We're going to start by pulling out the fuse. This one's rather tough because it's folded around. And of course, we're going to be keeping this for each individual firework. I got lucky. This one's probably over a foot long. Doesn't even fit in the whole screen. There it is right there. Let's set that aside. Then using your knife, let's cut open the outside shell. This is almost like a toilet paper roll. So after you take apart the wrapping, you can see... It's essentially a toilet paper roll with two end caps. So the easiest thing to do instead of cutting open the toilet paper roll is just slicing off the end cap. And as you can see, my contents are starting to fall out. Now, this is the propellant side of the firework. As you can see, I'll zoom in for you. The contents are rather grainy. They're almost like little rocks. This is actually black powder I'll see if we can zoom for you these are little black powder granules and the reason they are so big is so that they can slowly burn rather than just explode so this is the material that is used to take your firework up before exploding so this is not what we're going to be using today I'll show you what happens when you do burn it but we're going to go ahead and get these stuff in the other end the top so here we are on another sheet of paper. We're going to be taking apart the other side. I got I grabbed a new sheet of paper real quick just so we don't mix the two together, which you can do if you want, but for the actual firecracker explosion effect that you are probably wanting, you do not want to do that. So this side, as you can see, I just popped it open. Seems to be really compressed and packed in there. This must be the clay. I think it is. So I'm going to have to go ahead and dig deeper and cut open the middle. It's a little too tough for my little paring knife. So I got ahead a little serrated knife so we can do some sawing very carefully so we don't create any sparks or friction of course. I'm going to go ahead and cut around the entire perimeter or circumference whatever you want to say. As you can see we are hitting the correct location because we are getting lots of the gunpowder. We do not want too much of the orange stuff, that is the clay. Let's go ahead and crack it open now. And there is the contents of the explosion. There is a lot more there than previous ones I've done in the past. Let me zoom in so I can show you as I empty it. As you can see, this powder is much finer. And there's a bunch of these little balls. Now these balls are the things that catch on fire 
and make color as they shoot across the sky, which are very fun in certain firecrackers. I might put some in some of the ones we're making today, but if you want just the bang, do not include any of those. So I'm gonna give it a little shake. And then this might be a two stager, I'm not sure. Nope, there's no second stage. So there's what's left, as you can see, hopefully. Oh, sorry, there you go. As you can see, there's clay here and here. This side, of course, has the time delay fuse. That's after the rocket has stopped propelling. Then it reaches this and explodes. And this is literally just solid clay. So you can go ahead and dispose of the shell now. And this is the gunpowder that we are left with. There's the flash powder mixed with colorful balls. And there's the regular gunpowder. Let's go ahead and assemble them. So here's all the contents. We got our cut up fuses. I cut them all to length. The colorful balls, the smoke powder, and we got the flash powder. I was, wasn't able to get out all of them, but most of them are out. And I went ahead and pre-cut all these aluminum squares, which is what we're going to use for the body of the firecracker. So if you want a slightly louder firecracker, I'd recommend rolling these up and compacting them as hard as you could. But I just like the look of the big smoky explosion, so we're going to leave it just as a one layer tin foil. So the first one is the most simple firecracker, and that's to just take a little bit of the flash powder, place it in the middle of your piece of tin foil. I'm going to fold up the edge a little bit, just to make room for the fuse to stick out. And then put your fuse right in the middle of the powder. Fold over the other side like this. Do a little bit of origami, however you like, it doesn't really matter. So that you have your rough shape. And then as I said, the tighter it is, the louder it will be. So I'm going to go ahead and compact it just like that. So it looks like a little Hershey's Kiss. And there we have our very first firecracker. Let's go ahead and make some more. Here I made another six varieties, or here's five I guess, including the first one I made. So here is flash powder mixed with the color balls. There is another straight flash powder. This here is straight black powder. That's black powder plus color balls. And there's black powder plus flash powder. So I'm going to label these number one, two, three, four, five, six, because I might forget what they're called. And I'm going to light them off in that same order and so you can see what the different ones do. There's the final products, one through six. Let's go ahead and light them off. All right, so here goes the testing. I'm going to be doing them in order from one to six. Um, first, I have a standard issue two inch cracker for comparison. So this is just the red regular issue firecracker. The beer cans for damage report. So there's your standard issue one. And now we'll start off with firecracker number one, which I believe is just straight flash powder. I'm also burying it in a little bit of ashes to make the explosion look cooler. All right. I'll zoom out the camera because I'm not sure if you're able to see all that. All right, moving on to number two. Sorry about the jerkiness there, by the way. All right, number two. I kind of forget what it is, but if you want to know, just re rewind the video a little bit. Here we go with number two. Okay, number three. The reason the fuse is so short is because I, I cut all the fuses from the one firecracker and it's fast burning fuse. So they're kind of like little mini fireworks, not necessarily firecrackers, but still pretty cool. Here we got number four. This one's rather large. 
I don't really know what it's going to do, to be honest. Here we go. All right, two more. Here's number five, which I believe is just straight colorful balls, which should be exciting. Are we ready? Just in case they go flying. I missed it, that's always scary. One more, which I believe is a mixture of flash powder and black powder. This is number six. Here we go. Oh, maybe colorful balls. All right, let's go check out the damage. There's what the beer can looked like afterwards. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Turns out, they were kind of like little firework firecrackers. But if you packed them really tight, you could get more of a bang. But I thought this was kind of cool, actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed as well. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.